these machines have one thing in common. They all originated from the first motorcycle built in 1885 by Gottlob Daimler. Daimler lived in Germany at the time he made the world's first motorcycle. He also built the first snowmobile by putting a piece of wood under the front tire and spikes on the rear. Daimler these machines have one thing in common. They all originated from the first motorcycle built in 1885 by Gottlob Daimler. Daimler lived in Germany at the time he made the world's first motorcycle. He also built the first snowmobile by putting a piece of wood under the front tire and spikes on the rear. The first motorcycle was developed from a bicycle. Daimler put a small engine on a wooden bicycle frame. The bike could travel only 12 miles per hour and carry a rider only 3 miles on a full tank of gas. Here's a picture of Daimler's motorcycle. By the early 1890s, motorcycles were becoming popular. They were still made the same as the first motorcycles, and were often called mopeds, mo for motor and ped for pedals. The engines were not strong enough to climb hills, so when a rider came to a hill, he had to shut off the engine and pedal up. The engines also ran out of gas quickly, so when a, and there were... We have to take the whole this thing is over. take two from the beginning. From the beginning. By the early 1890s, motorcycles were becoming popular. They were still made the same as the first motorcycles, and were often called mopeds, mo for motor and ped for pedals. Hmm. By the early 1890s, motorcycles were becoming popular, and they were still made the same as the first motorcycles. They were often called mopeds, mo for motor and ped for pedals. The engines were not strong enough to climb hills, so when a rider came to a hill, he shut off the engine and pedaled up. The engines also ran out of gas quickly, and there were no gas stations around, so when a rider ran out of gas, he had to pedal home. The bikes were hard to keep balanced because of the engine, and the riding was also rough because the wheels were better for wagons. Some people were afraid of motorcycles. England passed the Locomotives on Highway Act. A locomotive is a machine that moves by itself. The law said you had to have three riders. The fourth person had to walk ahead of the motorcycle waving a red flag to warn people. Here is a picture of an early motorcycle rider, but she doesn't look like she's having as much fun as I am.
Well, I don't see any little. Children are uh, 9 and 11, so I can't help you there. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Just kind of walk around and take this. Okay. Ben, these are free, aren't they? It's recording. Ben, what these is are that? free. Matt. Back it Riding motorcycles became more popular, and improvements were being made. In 1894, the Hildebrand and Wolfmuller motorcycle was made in Germany. It had rubber tires, a safety-type bike frame, and a powerful water-cooled engine. Riding motorcycles became more popular, and improvements were being made. In 1894, the Hildebrand and Wolf motorcycle was made in... Riding motorcycles became more popular, and improvements were being made. In 
1894, the Hildebrand and Wolfmuller motorcycle was made in Germany. It had rubber tires, a safety tight bike frame, and a powerful water cooled engine. Nineteen oh one was the landmark in motorcycle history. The Warner Brothers of France made the first bike with the specialized frame. It was the fastest yet. That was it. Bikes kept getting bigger, faster, and more powerful. By 1905, racing bikes could go 60 miles per hour, and ordinary bikes could travel 30 to 40 miles per hour. Motorcycle racing was becoming very popular. Here is some high-tech motorcycle racing. I don't know how to get the macro. Recording. And we are touching the T side, and nothing is happening. Did it go out that time? Aren't I smart? Okay, sit up. Take 199. This is the last take we're going to ever make. Riding motorcycles became more popular and improvements were being made. In 1894, the Hildebrand and Wolfmuller bike was made in Germany. It had rubber tires, a safety tight bike frame, and a powerful water cooled engine. It was the fastest yet. Good thing I had a pause in there because it wasn't the fastest yet. Okay, Ben, I finally got that macro to go off. Okay, I'll stop recording. Just a minute, I gotta stop. I gotta reset it to zero, otherwise, I'll never find it with all the takes that we've made. Riding motorcycles became more popular and improvements were being made. In 1894, the Hildebrand and Wolfmuller bike was made in Germany. It had rubber tires, a safety type bike frame, and a powerful water cooled engine. You've done a fantastic job through all this, you know that? Thanks. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> Mom. me. Mom, you might want to... Bikes kept getting bigger, faster, and more powerful. By 1905, racing bikes could go 60 miles per hour, and ordinary bikes could travel 30 to 40 miles per hour. Racing was becoming very popular. Here is some high-tech racing. In 1914, when World War I broke out, bikes were made for military use in Europe, but in America, thousands of bikes were made for pleasure riding. After World War I, motorcycles were lost in popularity to cars, but the racing came on stronger than ever.
In 1939, when World War II broke out, thousands of bikes were again made for the Army. After World War II, motorcycles earned a rat bad reputation. After World War II, motorcycles earned a bad reputation because of the trouble motorcycle gangs caused. People's ideas changed in 1945 when a Japanese man serrated. After World War II, motorcycles earned a bad reputation because of the trouble motorcycle gangs caused. People's ideas changed in 1945 when a Japanese man named Seratio Honda bought 500 motors from the army to make mopeds. Honda improved on his bikes by making them small, lightweight, and inexpensive. They became popular with everyday people as well as racers.